it was clear to us all the time that there was no shortage of basic supplies in the Gaza Strip. Now, after what uh, the Israeli government decided, the cabinet decided, it must be clear to the whole world, not just to the state of Israel and to the Israeli government, that the whole story about humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip is a lie and the uh, story was just used to help the Hamas. I think that uh, what uh, the international community, different countries that were so active on behalf of the citizens of Gaza should do now is to pressure the Hamas government for immediate release of Gilad Shalit. Construction all over the state of Israel, including Judea and Samaria. That's exactly what the Likud Central Committee voted for. We are in favor of Jewish communities growing in the Negev, in the Galilee, in Judea and Samaria, and definitely in our capital, Jerusalem. First of all, we've said loud and clear, supplies or humanitarian aid to Gaza notwithstanding. There will be no uninspected goods coming into the Gaza strip. We won't allow weapons and ammunition to get to the Hamas. On the other hand, we are much better coordinated in terms of our uh, information efforts before these flotillas and if these flotillas arrive, they will be stopped, they will be accompanied to the port of Ashdod and in terms of our information effort, I hope that this time will be better organized. I am uh, sure that this will be a good visit. I know that the, the visit planned uh, several weeks ago that unfortunately was cancelled because of of the flotilla was supposed to be a meeting that would mark a positive change in the policy of Washington and the policy of the American administration and I sincerely hope that the very fact that the meeting was postponed won't change its nature. It will be a good meeting, there will be different opinions on certain subjects. I am absolutely sure that the American president will raise the subject of construction in Judea and Samaria, but the Israeli government is a sovereign government, it made its decision and September 26 is the day when the freeze on construction in Judea and Samaria will be over and will be continuing to develop the Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria. Unfortunately, the present Prime Minister of Turkey, Erdogan, is uh, leading a very militant line against Israel basically is turning Turkey into part of the of states like Iran and Syria and uh, uh, I sincerely hope that there will be enough forces in Turkey that will keep it as a democracy, that will keep it as a country open to tourism from Western countries from Israel and we as the Israeli government will definitely be in contact with all positive forces in Turkey in order to make sure that the relations we've been having for dozens of years will continue.